Hey, orange one here. So uh, I'm pretty excited about this. I just gave um, our friend here, I've forgotten, is this it? Yeah, I gave Harvey a couple uh, things of cal serum. And um, basically I've been hunting like in the woods here and like a, a couple of other areas like nearby. Um, actually, I've just been driving all around just trying to find things that would give me large stomachs. And I found a good group of deer uh, pretty recently and harvested their their stomachs uh so yeah we got ourselves a little bit um of that going on here and then also while i was doing that i saw that there's this strange temple here um but before we go and do the strange temple uh let's just um just take a second to see what harvey's got going on now because i thought you might find that interesting so harvey yeah he's a bovine mutant now check that out um, so he's got canine ears. I'll, I'll, I'm not going to read them all out. You can kind of just check it out. And if you want, you can pause as I go through the list to kind of see what it says about them all. Uh, long story short, he is a cow person. He's a minotaur, right? He hasn't got the horns yet. He's only got head bumps. But he's got a long tail. And he's got like, a, I think a snout. Yeah, he's got a snout. Um... He's got a number of really interesting good mutations. Uh, it would be interesting to play him as a character. I don't know how a lot of these interact with NPCs. But anyways, he's going to be actually... And I know I've spent all this time like upgrading him and all this stuff. But he's not going to be coming in here with us. I'm actually going to just um, take off all of our clothes. I know, I know. I should be playing some uh, music or something to set the scene, right? So we'll just take off everything. And I'm actually just curious, uh, what do I look like now? So I've got like cybernetics now and a beak. Oh, look at my beak. That is hilarious. I've got this beak and like robotic arms or chest and legs. Is that what it is? So if I look at these alloy uh, head, torso, legs, so not arms, okay. It's kind of weird that I don't have the arms, but all right, whatever. In any case, let's go ahead and I think we had like a firefighter helmet, um, turnout trousers. Yeah, we've got like a turnout gear in here somewhere for basically all of our body parts. So I just need to make sure that we get covered up and then we'll, um, We'll go into the uh, into this place because I think uh, I think we've done this before in this series. You guys should be aware that we need to basically just make sure we don't get burned when we go in there. Um, we are going to have an issue with our beak though, so I think we're gonna have to purify that away. Yeah, it's it's a shame that I'm gonna have to use the purifier. But I think we have to. Um, we've got a couple things of purifier. Oh, man. I need a syringe. Uh, don't I have any syringes? Maybe our friend has her only syringe. I think that you've got a syringe, Harvey. I need that syringe back. Um, where is this... I, I can't see anything here. Nope. That's not what I want. Uh, da, 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 let's trade items. If I want to go down his list, how do I do that? More is sideways arrow. Okay, cool. Um, we just have too much stuff here to do the trade. Let's just go outside. This little... Uh, Injection. Hello. RV, can I trade with you? I need that syringe. Thank you. Yep, let's go. And... Let's see. Lose beak, light eater. Lost deformed, turned to ugly, deft, and... Okay, so I think that we... It's a bummer that we lost, lost deft there, but... Everything else that was actually good that we lost those mutations. Um, 
So now we should be able to put on a mask, right? If I look here, what masks do I have? I've got this one, which is uh, should be good. Okay, so we should be able to go in there now. I'm actually going to activate... Uh, where is it? The... Scabbard, and I'm going to take my Jane down with me. Um, I'm in distressing pain right now. Why am I in so much pain? Is it because of the... You know what it is? It's probably because um, we just took Purifier. What is going on with... Uh, oh, it's consuming all that power because of the pain that I'm in. I'm in. It's, my my cybernetics can't keep up. That's how, how much I'm hurting. Um, I should be careful going in here. Maybe before we go in there, let's just cook a little a little meal. Um, let's see what food could I make. Um, I could do a, like a broth. No, we don't need to can anything. Let's do like um. Let's actually look at the meat dishes specifically. And we could do cracklins. Oh, oh, we've got just straight up cooked meat. We could do that. Yeah, let's just do some cooked meat. If I have it, I might as well cook the meat that I've got laying around here. It looks like most of it's rotten, which kind of makes sense. Um, I've honestly just been, like, butchering things. <laughs> like, haven't really been... Um, or not butchering, just take, taking out the uh, guts, the field dressing. Uh, so I think that we've kind of reached a nice stable temperature. Uh, what about water? Do I have any water around here? I do. Uh, can I just drink that? Yes, looks good. Um, and then can we put that serum back? And I'm gonna actually put the syringe there. And we'll close that, and I'm going to put the scabbard here because I don't want that to burn. And I just want to double check that I've got everything covered. Yep, everything's covered from fire. Okay, so we should be good in case that we get that fire room. Um, do we have... we have a flashlight, right? Yeah, cool. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on that flashlight. Oh, is this? Oh, it's this room. It's the trippy room that, like, it moves as you move. And it, like, kind of locks you in. It's a little puzzle. I think you can also just jackhammer your way through. But where's the fun in that, right? Okay, and look, we, we made it. It's not, like, a, a hard room. Uh, what? Oh, is this the water? The one that fills up with water? Um, oh no, this is the one that's... Okay, we want the jackhammer for this. I remember this. This one is kind of annoying. And we could also maybe just smash our way through this. I don't think... Yeah, you don't see me damaging the metal bars. Okay, so we want to get the jackhammer. Or actually, the and like a saline torch, I think, would cut through the bars. So I think that we could do that. Oh, that actually worked out really nicely going that way. Um... So I think... Uh, do we have a welder? I think I might have left our welder. Um, oh man, I think I left the welder back at our base. Uh, that's annoying. I need more power converters. Uh, I'm sure we have stuff and we could make one. Um, I'm just going to do the jackhammer. Part of the reason I don't want to do the jackhammer is because it could cause a cave-in. Um, so we do need to be careful with that. Let's see, where's the jackhammer? There we go. Yep, go ahead and just put the Jane in our inventory then. Oh, it's kind of weird. So I'm like, just like, got a sword just there. Okay. Um, yeah, cool. That seems to be a pretty nice, reliable path. And I think if we want to not do a cave-in, we want to do, like, this corner right here. Just up to the right. And... 
Oh, all right. oh, we ran out of power. Um, can I turn that off and turn this back on? I do want to have our enhanced memory banks if we can have it on, but I'm actually going to just not mess with it just because... Um, what's going on with our temperature? I think that we've got the fire room down there. Because there's something kind of going weird with the temperature. Um, and what's going on with our power? I don't... I'm, I'm, I'm very confused as to why it's not really going up there. Because it seems like it should be going up, but it's not. Right? Can I just wait 300 heartbeats and see what goes on? Yeah, no, there's something weird going on with our power. Um, can we just turn that off? Oh, it's the, um, you know what it is? It's our jackhammer. Our jackhammer was draining our power. Right, that makes sense. Okay, so instead of doing that, then let's have, oh, the battery's off. Um, just get some power back, please. Yeah, we'll just wait another 300 heartbeats. Cool. Yeah, now that we've got a good amount of power, I am more comfortable going in uh, to this next part. Because I think this is the part where we just run through the fire. Right? No? Oh, this is the part that's going to have the water. Oh, yeah, I remember this. I think, though, if we do that, the water stops uh, advancing, right? Or does it? No, it's. Eh, no, it seems like it stopped. And then we'll just kill those snakes. Goodbye, snake. And here is the fire room. Um, hold on. We're our temperature is rising, and we're comfortable. I don't know how fast it's rising, but I'm just gonna. Yeah. See, we're warm right now, and it says that. Uh, we're getting warmer, so I'm just gonna go up to where we were, like, a nice temperature. Uh, apparently we're still warm. Let's just go up to the surface just to cool down for a minute. Yeah, see, now we're, like, a comfortable temperature. I think we've fought our way through all the stuff we're gonna have to fight through, so I'm gonna just put down everything that we don't need. And... We should be able to, unless um, things have changed with the fire mechanics, we should be able to, with this gear, just walk right through it and be fine. But naturally, I am a little bit nervous. Uh, let's go ahead and run through here as well. If I can uh, be quick, I would like to. Yeah, we're being torched by the flames. Ouch, apparently. Okay, so we're fine. We're not on fire. We're just uncomfortably warm. And, ooh, Dagger of Shadowy Justice, that sounds cool. And Spike Staff of Forbidden Illusion, these both sound like really cool items. Um, you feel a force pulling you inwards. You feel a tickle of insanity. Okay, so we're moving a lot slower. Is that what's going on? What if I wield this. You fade into invisibility. I'm invisible? Hold on, wait, what? I'm like straight up invisible? Can I not wield this and just keep it in my inventory? I'm just not sure if, I think if it's in your, um, if you're wielding it, I'm pretty sure it burns. I'm just gonna do a little quick save because I don't want these things burning. Um, yeah, let's just go up one at a time, it's fine. Like you saw, we can run right through this and be okay. And then I'm just gonna stop running and dump that here. We'll have to play with these on the surface pretty soon. Yeah, apparently we're very hot. Is that gonna start hurting me? If that starts um, hurting me, then we're going to have to be... Yeah, it looks like we're okay. Okay, we're cooler, a lot cooler here. 
and we are up there so I'm gonna just wait here to let my temperature cool down just a little bit apparently I'm warm but the temperature is cooling okay well, actually this is a comfortable temperature here that's weird okay well yes you are gonna be very warm right here that that makes sense yeah, well, you want to go to the surface to play around with artifacts, because you're going to want some space just in case it, like, teleports you or something weird. But, uh, we have a couple new new toys here. Go ahead and wield it. I'm okay with, uh, being invisible for now. I am intrigued, though, with what these things do. Um, yeah, we'll have, we'll come back for the artifact, don't worry. I won't forget my second artifact. I don't think I will. Uh, uh oh, I went a different way. I've like completely messed up the pattern. Okay, there we go. Cool. Um, it's snowing. It what? It's snowing. It's it's spring. Did this weapon make it snow or something? Did I equip something that, like, makes it snow? If I did, that's awesome. I'm pretty sure that must be what's going on, because it should not be snowing outside right now. There's something interfering with the weather system, which could be really fun to play with. Um, if I wield that, what happens? Invisibility, you're hearing rattling. Yeah, I'm gonna have to look it up and see what's the effects that are going on with these guys. Okay, um... In case it, like, explodes or something, or, like, makes a portal... Maybe I should change out of my firefighter gear. Um... Nah, that's, that's... We'll wear the firefighter gear. Let's go up here, and let's, uh, see what this does. Uh... So... Spike staff... Oh, look at that! Dude, we're like a wizard or something. That is interesting. Um, is it already? No, it's not charged back up. Okay, so I'm just gonna wait a little bit. I don't know how it recharges, so I want to be careful with using that. Um, but it, it you feel your body decaying. Is that how it charges back up? Oh, look at that! Okay, so it takes my health. So I can shock people, and it takes my health. That is... that's pretty cool. I like that. I might want to use that. Um, so that's the Spike Staff of Forbidden Illusion. Um, I think it makes us invisible, right? And then it also lets us um, shoot out things. So this makes us slower, um, but makes us silent. You feel a force pulling you inwards. I don't know what the force pulling you inwards means. Um, but what we can do is we can activate this and see what it does. You're paralyzed. Horrible gases are emitted, and you're racked with pain. Okay, yeah. Um, so don't use that. And I'm pretty sure that we also have that eyeball effect of having, um, whatchamacallit, um, the, the attention of the nether. So, yeah, um, that's awful. <laughs> so we have an artifact that's incredibly useful and one that's incredibly, uh, not useful. Um, so I am curious if I put this down and pick it up, it's, it says, yep, yeah, that's when I got the minus three perception, uh, but if I wield it, that's when it slows me down. Okay, wielding that slows me down, just having it in my inventory makes me less dexterous. Okay, and then wielding this makes a storm come, which is, I'm pretty sure why it's snowing. So we can use this to make it snow. 
Um, you feel tickle of insanity, so I'm pretty sure that makes us hallucinate, but we already do that. Um, it slows us down, so I don't really want to be having this uh, with us unless we need to, because it slows us down quite a bit. Um, but if I want to throw some lightning, I can do that. <laughs> Which actually, you know, I'm, I'm curious about the direction of the lightning bolts. If it always goes up and down, because I could use that to, like, fry some electronics. Uh, no, it actually goes random. Okay. And I can be shocked as well, which is also good to know. And my body's going to decay if it didn't already start. I think it already said that our body's decaying, right? Yes. Okay. All right. Um, well, I think we can uh, safely change out of our firefighter gear. and change back into our survival gear this is honestly the easiest way to do it that i found is to just create a stack outside oh what happened to the game audio oh um i know what happened i thought there was like a bug or something no it's it's an item doing its job Yeah, we'll get all the stuff on and then we'll resort it and sort the layers because I think. Or did it already get sorted auto for us? Um, natural sorting. Yeah, so if I put that there and then I hit S, does it put it where it should go? And on the boots, it looks good. The greaves, it looks good. Yeah, um. And these are both straps, so I mean, really, this should be on the outside, but I think it's fine. Yeah. Um, oh, we all, we don't have anything on our eyes. It's kind of silly of me to be running around without any protection on the eyes. Um, I'm trying to pick something up. Oh, I think I had all caps on. Yeah. Let's just pick up all this stuff. I've just been rolling around with... I'll leave the plank in the bottle, though. Um, I kind of want to leave this dagger, just because it's awful. Uh, but we'll take it, because it is an artifact. You know, it's a good thing to, to have. Uh, where's the spiked thing? Did I already put that away? Or... Is it here? No, it's right here. Okay. I'm gonna... I think it's this button. Yeah, that picks up everything. We'll leave that stuff. And then we'll see about putting some of this uh, stuff away a little bit more. Um, I don't need those bullets. I actually... I, I'm not even sure why I was even carrying all of those around. Uh, okay, that's full. And then put that away. Did I even... I didn't use our syringe original in, in that one situation when we could have. When we were trying to get away with, uh, from the enemy. From the zombies, like the farm. You know? So I'm, I'm kind of unsure what I want to do. I'm pretty sure that this guy, um, our friend here... He's going to need um, a number of more mutagen doses. I might try and see what we can do just besides the cattle mutagen. Um, I would like to get him more of the cattle mutagen, so I think we will try and go hunting a little bit more. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But I want to try. Man, that was insane. The, the Strange Temple. I love the Strange Temples in this game. They're so rare. Like, whenever you do find one, it's so cool. You know? I think in, like, the years I've played this game, i found, like, only a, a couple. And I think I've started to find more recently because I've been spending more time in, like, the late game. And so I've been able to just kind of access that part a little bit more, you know? 
where you're able to just drive around. And I, I've spent a lot of time just driving around in this game. Oh, ow. I think our car is tough enough there that didn't actually hurt us that bad. Oh, also, this is kind of what I was doing here. Is um, It was kind of funny. Oh, there's a necromancer. Where are you at? Just up there. You know, I am going to um, probably go onto this trail and do a little hunting on it. Yeah, it was kind of funny because I was looking for large stomachs for the mutagen. And so I was just, like, walking up and down um, a trail looking for, like, deer. And it was, like, you know, basically what I'm doing now. But there's a huge group of zombies right there, so it's a little different. I'm going to actually try and be proactive about them. We'll pull them to us. I don't want to be too far away from my the car. Wait, deer? Did I hear deer? I don't see any deer. I thought I heard something about a deer. Maybe there is a deer. I bet there is. It's just that there's just too many enemies around. I think we've got like a couple hundred bullets on us with the magazines that we got. So we're, we're totally fine. Um, it would be nice to get more ammo pouches, though. Maybe for the other leg. We're going to have to start crafting our own, though. Because we have uh, kind of burned through a lot of these recently. It's a little silly how the game keeps on aiming at these opossums. Like, that's definitely not our primary concern right now. Probably the necromancer. Um, I think that's gonna hit the blob, huh? Nope. Actually, I would like to go for this corrosive zombie if I can, because he's gonna be the one that actually hurts me. And then these guys, I'm just gonna hit just to make them smaller. So, um, basically, if they're smaller, they're they're gonna be easier for us to like shoot over. Is my thinking, and so we'll actually be able to hit this guy. Yeah, see, like, we hit that blob that time. Whereas we hit the wrestler that time. And he, we hit him that time, too. Yeah, see, these blobs are, like, not even really interfering with us at all. Um, I'm just gonna walk away from them. Because they're blobs, they don't really see you. Oh, we got a skeletal juggernaut. Okay, well, we should probably focus on him. But, actually, you know, our character's hearing is gonna start getting damaged if we don't put in the earplugs. Uh, which is an insane thing to even say, you know. It's amazing that I even put that in the game. How many bullets do we have? Yeah, we're fine. Guy, I have your ear protection, right? You know, like, I've never, myself, gone out and fired a gun, but it, it's always insane how, like, in movies, and I didn't realize this growing up, but in movies, they always have no ear protection on, and they're just fine. And, like, I saw something where they were talking about in The Walking Dead how, like, all the characters are probably, like, half-deaf, which is probably, like, not ideal for a zombie apocalypse, you know? And luckily, we we don't have that issue for real in Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. But I think that we should. That would be kind of an interesting gameplay mechanic if you had to um, get proper ear protection or like risk um, permanently damaging your character's hearing. Oh look, they're going for my friend who's in the car. Well, that's actually kind of nice for us because that technician would have pulled our gun away. They're really annoying like that. Um, okay, that looks good though. Oh, how did how did you sneak up on me, Grim Howler? I didn't even see you. Seriously. I mean, you're kind of like, you look a little similar to the grass, so I'm gonna say that's my excuse. Come on. There we go. And... I think that's almost the last of the zombies. Come on.
And yeah, we're totally being wasteful here, but you might as well use it, right? Oh, that that's a necromancer. It just raised up that guy from the dead. Oh, they had two necromancers in that group. That's annoying. I do have a hiking backpack on, so I shouldn't really be going into melee. But they're just blobs. So I think we're fine. Uh, go ahead, get that back on your back. Yeah, I think that, you know, we're doing pretty good. Um, oh, those are actually blob blobs right there. I do want to be picking these up because you can use this for making mutagen. And I think um, specifically the cattle mutagen actually requires that you have blob blob. Um, so definitely in our interest to do that. Uh, the technician, I think, has cybernetics in them, right? So I probably want to try and get this from them. We'll finish these guys up. And... Take those off so we can actually hear the game. That's good. Um, why don't we just... I know that we're technically just over the half an hour, but let's just see what this guy has. I mean, aren't you curious? Uh, so let's go with dissect. Yep, cool. Oh, look, and now we no longer have that uh, thing. Um, kinetic shock absorbers. Don't I already have that? I feel like I already have that biotic, don't I? No, I've got the titanium skeleton bracing, not the kinetic shock absorbers. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want that. I mean, if you're going as like a, a helicopter pilot character, sure, that might be worth it, but not worth it for us. Just not a good biotic for us. I mean, it's kind of, I think, uh, now don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure that, uh, actually, you know, I'm going to get those tools because I do want to get like a second set of tools for our, our campsite and the car because it's annoying having to share between the two. Yeah, but I was going to say that I'm pretty sure the Hulks, they, um, when they hit you, that gets um, impacted by the shock absorb. The connect shock absorbers like essentially make there be less damage done to you. Yeah. Oh, also, I wanted to show you guys the stadium. I haven't seen that before, but I'll probably do that next time. Oh, that's the stadium bar garage. Oh, wow, this looks like quite the location. That's gonna be cool. Yeah, I think I'm probably gonna do some city exploring. Um, slash mutagen crafting to just kind of uh, even out Harvey now. Now I think I might, yeah, do like Earth sign mutation or um, beast or something that overlaps with um, cattle and see if we can get some of those late game mutations that way. In any case, thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.